Welcome to a new vlog, everybody. I just made it into Vegas, and this will be part one, I guess, of uh, my vlogs. I'm probably going to knock out a couple of them, but um, we're going to get our bag and then go to the hotel. We're staying at uh, MGM. Okay guys, we're, we're all checked in and we are on the 11th floor. I can't remember the room number. It's 520 something, I think. Um, a lot of people here, so. Um, I don't know if I mentioned guys. I don't think I did. Um, it's only about, oh, 90 degrees outside. It's only supposed to get up to about 95 today, which is not bad at all considering the last time we were here, it got up to about 112, 115. Okay guys, I've been lugging this bag around. I'm going to set this down and give you a quick shot of the room. That bag is annoying to carry when you're making your way through a crap ton of people and everything. Toilets. Shower. This looks exactly like the room we had last time we were in Vegas. Looks the same as the last one. <clears throat> it's not a bad room. Not bad at all. West King room. Okay, guys. Uh, we are all checked into our room and everything, and I'm going to check out the food court now. Uh, it's on the strip. I've, when I was here last year, I never checked it out. This is my first time checking it out. And Del Taco, Wendy's, oh they have a Popeyes, yeah. Okay guys, uh, we went to CVS and uh, got a few things for the room. Um, MGM does not have refrigerators, so we brought, um, I don't even know what these things are called, they're, they keep food cool or hot, whatever, but they're pretty much like a, a portable um, cooler. So we filled it up with ice and we threw pop, water, uh, I think Brie had a tea in there, a um, couple energy drinks. So yeah, that's going to be our refrigerator for the, for the remainder of our stay here. Well, it's a little bit later guys and um, we're outside of the hotel. It takes you forever to get out of that place. The MGM uh, is so huge. It's, it's, you know, not really that uh, difficult to walk yourself in a couple of circles. Anyway, um, this is the front of the building, lion and everything, but actually it looks like it's about to rain and I've felt uh, a few water drops. Very windy out here right now. Very nice weather for Vegas in my opinion. I love the rain anyways, but it is cool, windy, and we're talking like late July. It is awesome. Okay guys, we are in the, um, I think Paris area, and there are all these like little shops and uh, eateries that are kind of tucked back here. And anyway, there is a, um, I think it's called Smokies. Yeah, they sell cigars, cigarettes and stuff like that. And we're eating here. I just had uh, um, a sub and Brianna's having a, a Euro type thing or whatever. <clears throat> And this guy came out of uh, the uh, smoky shop and just started flipping out on what I think was a customer. Um, calling him all types of names and he followed him all the way to the end of that walkway. Um, cussing him out and trying to get, get him to fight. Just thought I'd add that to the vlog. Um, there's an In-N-Out burger on the strip now and I've never had it so... Uh, Maybe tomorrow, the day after, we're going to hit that up and uh, I'm going to see how that is. Okay, I thought we found it. Um, we haven't made it quite to the in and out yet, but there was a sign back that way that said it's down this way. And I was just saying to my wife, you'd have to come to Vegas like 40 or 50 times easily just to even try, you know, like half of the stuff that's out here. Okay, it was just a little bit further down, in and out. Kind of looks like an old school 50s kind of diner type thing. 
this is something that I've never heard of before. Um, sushi burritos. Let me check this out. There are a ton of different choices here, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and throw a picture in. I've never heard of anything like this before, though. Okay, guys, uh, it's about, um, I don't know, 6.30, 7 o'clock Vegas time, so it's uh, about 9 o'clock, 9.30 in La Crosse, Wisconsin time. Uh, I've been up since 3 a.m. I am pooped. I almost called it a night, but I ran out and got um, a uh, lighter and just walking around kind of woke me up a little bit. I might go out, actually. Okay, guys, I did decide to come out to Fremont and uh, got myself a drink. Can't really hear me too well. <laughs> I don't know how much filming I'm gonna actually do down here, but I'll tell you what, the weird shit that you will see on Fremont. Weird as hell. Okay guys, so I pumped five bucks into this machine, lost it all. Actually, I didn't lose too much tonight, so I'm not really that worried about it. Okay, there's uh, one thing I wanted to add here, guys. Um, when you're walking through Fremont Street, you can just kind of, uh, well, even on the Las Vegas Strip, you can just smell weed randomly. It's the oddest thing to me. Guys, we are done on Fremont Street. We are going to catch the bus back to the Strip. Uh, back at the hotel. I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog for the day. I had an awesome day. I was going to get Popeyes at the end of the night, but I ended up having to get, uh, I don't even know what the hell this is. Panda Express. It was some kind of Chinese food. The Popeyes decided to close about two hours early. So, SOL. <laughs> oh well. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like this video, comment, subscribe. And uh, check out my uh, day two vlog of uh, Vegas. Thanks again.